In 2003, a series of earthquakes began under Lake Tahoe. Over a four-month period, approximately 1,600 earthquakes hit underneath the lake, which were at first thought to be related to a deep fault. However, these earthquakes were too numerous in nature and did not seem to dissipate at the rate expected given the area's geologic setting. The reason for this is that these earthquakes were not caused by faulting, but rather an intrusion of magma into the crust. As this magma pushed upwards, it generated additional earthquakes. However, this magma never got anywhere close to the surface. Although Lake Tahoe is not volcanic in origin, it does have the potential to be a site of a volcanic eruption in the future. This video will discuss this interesting phenomena and what volcanic features are located near Lake Tahoe. For those of you outside the United States, Lake Tahoe is located in northeastern California where it straddles the border with Nevada. In this section of the United States, the crust has a variable thickness. Underneath Lake Tahoe, it is 42 kilometers thick. The aforementioned earthquakes were still relatively small as none were larger than a 2.2 on the Richter scale. However, they were still significant enough to over time uplift the ground underlying Mount Rose by 3 eighths of an inch. These earthquakes started at a depth of 33 kilometers and over time continued upwards until a depth of 29 kilometers. Although still incredibly deep, this means that an intrusion of magma successfully traveled 13 kilometers or 8 miles into the crust. This magma may have been related to one of two volcanic systems located near Lake Tahoe. To the northeast of Lake Tahoe is a dormant lava dome complex volcano known as Steamboat Springs. Although it hasn't erupted in more than 1 million years, it contains dozens of vents which regularly emit various volcanic gases. However, I think this intrusion of magma was related to a small volcanic complex located along the northwest shoreline of Lake Tahoe. Between 2.3 and 0.9 million years ago, a total of seven volcanic vents formed small lava flows, at least three of which temporarily dammed an outlet of the overall lake. These isolated volcanics hint at an irregular yet long-term supply of magma into this section of the crust. As a whole, all of this regional volcanic activity is related to what is called the Basin and Range Province. East of the Cascade Mountains and west of the Colorado Plateau, the crust is slowly stretching and spreading apart. This stretching has created thin zones in the crust which allows magma to travel upwards and on occasion erupt onto the surface. Lake Tahoe is located on the westernmost edge of this province. Thus, magma creeping into the crust at a point of least resistance is not too unusual. Similar earthquakes have been recorded in recent years at the Black Rock Desert Volcano in Utah. However, in the case of that volcano, there was an intrusion of magma which reached a mere 2.5 kilometers beneath the surface. Regardless, more than 95% of the time, these earthquake swarms represent failed magma intrusions. That is, the advancing molten rock traveled upwards until it lost energy and cooled deep in the crust. Only on rare occasions does magma actually reach the surface, erupting and forming a new volcanic feature. This occurs about once every 1500 years. Overall, Lake Tahoe will not erupt for some time, but does have the potential to produce a volcanic eruption in the future. Besides, if another volcanic eruption was to occur within California, it would most likely originate near the town of Mammoth. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you'd like to request a specific topic, please leave a comment below. Additionally, if you wish to support this channel, consider becoming a patron on Patreon.